Now, in other news, so-called human rights group Amnesty International releasing its latest call for the dismantling of Israel, a spurious and libelous 280-page document once again accusing Israel of apartheid and various other crimes against humanity. With the analysis is chair and CEO of the International Legal Forum, attorney Arsen Ostrovsky. Arsen, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, now, you know, starting with the charge of apartheid, this is a long debunked premise as, as Israel is known to afford full rights to all citizens by law. Uh, and on, but on page 37 of this report, Amnesty even concedes that it does not argue that Israel's quote unquote oppression and domination is the same as that of South Africa's. So in what way is there apartheid? How, you know, how did Amnesty define it? Look, there is no apartheid, and Amnesty can say it a thousand times over, uh, but it will not make it true. Um, Israel is a vibrant, thriving democracy where all individuals, irrespective of the race, background or religion, have full political and civil rights. You only need to look at the uh, you only need to look at the the mix of the current Israeli government, which is everyone from religious Jews to Islamists to secular and everyone else uh, in in between. Um, there is no apartheid either with what is happening in the territories either. You have the Palestinian Authority. Who control uh, their their parts? You have uh, Hamas, which are in control in uh, in Gaza. So this report, at the end of the day, really what it is, it is part of a uh, much like the Human Rights Watch report that preceded it. It's really part of a long-standing and relentless, really, campaign of these organisations, such as Amnesty, to vilify, to demonise, and to delegitimise the state of Israel. At the end of the day, what they are ultimately seeking for, and they spell it out very clearly in the report, is the dismantlement of Israel as a Jewish state. So this is not a, a report. I mean, it's it's a report written under the guise of international law, but it's really just filled with malicious lies with distortions of truth and really just uh, anti-Semitic libels at the end of the day. All right, so I guess my final question is, you know, aside from Israel, which is obvious, the United States, the UK, even the Wall Street Journal, and, and many others are rejecting Amnesty's findings outright. Who's believing the report, you know, and, and how damaging is it then? Who's believing the report? Well, we've already had a uh, Hamas, Islamic Jihad, PFLP uh, that have come out and uh, and have applauded the, the report. The danger in this particular report, and it's really quite transparent as to what Amnesty has done. Uh, the timing is not by not by coincidence. This year there will be a number of uh, important events in in the calendar, including at the Human Rights Council. We have the Commission of Inquiry. This uh, you know really unprecedented uh, assault uh, on on Israel that, that was called in the wake of the the war in May last year. Um, so there's a number of these uh, sort of landmark events at the UN where uh, the apartheid argument really come into play. Uh, the ICC is still a danger. So really Amnesty is trying to capitalize uh, on these events. Uh, but I think it's also important to note that uh, not only in the Jewish and pro-Israel community, but we've seen uh, members of Congress, by the way, from both sides of the, of the yeah. political divide, including from Republicans and Democrats that have come out strongly and unequivocally uh, condemning this for what it is, uh, no more than an anti-Semitic screed. We've seen many of our allies also across uh, Europe, Australia, Canada, elsewhere that have come out to condemn this unequivocally. And I'll, at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's really it's quite a shame. You know, Amnesty is one of the oldest uh, human rights organizations, a storied organizations, organization, a once great organization, but it's really quite sad to see the its, its demise into really what has become a racist organization that seeks the dismantlement of the Jewish state. All right, Arsen Ostrovsky, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.TV and watch from any device.